Hi there, it's been a hot second since I've done any recordings of any kind. Um, I have a week off of work. <laughs> I'm so happy about it. So I have time to make a video for once in my life because I think it's fun. And I wanted to wanted to build something spectacular. So one of my favorite houses in Minneapolis is the James J. Hill house. And this is this is going to be that house. And I am super excited about the outcome i have not yet done the interior but you know it took two and a half hours to do the exterior so it was it was quite it was quite an experience for sure why i decided to do it i don't know oh I, I went i got inspiration from the, the the disney's haunted mansion and i wanted to build i wanted to build a big house that was very expensive and stately and that's the only house i could think of i'm actually going to duluth in a couple of hours to stay in cotton mansion and i'm super excited and then i'm gonna take a tour of glensheen mansion or glenshine i couldn't tell you how it's pronounced but i'm super excited about that too i haven't had any time to just relax in a very long time. So I'm excited to get away from my life and everything. So I don't know. I'm I'm gonna be looking at a lot of nice architecture in the next couple days and I'm super excited about that. I don't know what else to say to be honest. So let's just get right into what we're doing here. So we're in the basement. We're starting in the basement. This house is huge. It has a massive, massive foundation. And naturally a house this size would have a big foundation. <laughs> I, no surprise there, but this room I'm working on right now is the boiler room. I've done the house tour in real life so many times and it's so much fun. It's so pretty. The boiler is set in the ground and that's what I'm trying to do, removing the floor and the boiler goes down. I don't know if I'm going to mod the furniture in this house. Oh, I got a text. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to. I'm, I definitely use it, m used modded windows and stuff and I think it's worth it. There's many many differences I made in the house because the Sims is very is is limited but let me tell you something <clears throat> the Sims 4 is good in this aspect in making things the scale of things just makes a lot more sense in my eyes it was a lot easier to make this house in this game than it was in the Sims 3 not saying the hmm let's see what am i trying to say i'm trying to say that the sims 4 it made it easier to make it look exactly like how it looks in real life the sims 3 it was more it was more fun and realistic and it was more more cartoony but i think that this game is more cartoony visually but The Sims 3 was, or, or still is, I still play The Sims 3, is more realistic, but it's less realistic at the same time. Okay, more realistic visually, I think, and less realistic um, gameplay-wise, I think. Yeah, for sure. So this is the entrance, entrance of the house. Put a nice big door that's a modded door and now we're looking for for windows that make sense i was looking in the too tall window section and where's my phone i just need to turn it off there we go <clears throat> I, just, I was just trying to find windows that made sense for this house i really wanted to use those like brooklyn windows but these are the ones i found and they're actually quite perfect i saw those and i'm like yes we are using them so we're almost done with the first level. 
and we'll be working on the second level quite soon. And I am so impressed with how with how this com comes out. We the my favorite part of this house and making this house was the staircase in the main hall. It was so cool how everything just fit perfectly together. We're going to start that well soon. I guess we're looking for more doors on the side of the staircase. And also the the variety of windows that comes with this mod set specifically was just perfect for this house. There was these little windows I could use. So this is where we start the staircase. I was going to do that and put them on either side, but realized the staircase would lead outside. And then I accidentally made that shape. And I thought it was so cool. So I just made it twice, but couldn't figure it out. <laughs> and then I finally got it. I put it back and look at that staircase. That is something special. It's something special. I had to mo modify the room a little bit, um, but it turned out beautiful. I put some half walls to cover up the bottom underneath a little bit. Um, there are actually closets under there in real life, but I couldn't get doors, so that's fine. And the fireplace is actually going on those walls. I'm glad I did that. Look at how cool that lo looked. Ugh. Now this is where we do the windows, and these are gigantic stained glass windows in real life, and I think it's beautiful and I really wanted to capture that so these these little windows at the, at the bottom of the staircase look at how cool look at how cool that looks so good I oh uh, I love when things just work out this house was just working out the only speed bump I had was the roof hated the roof oh so this is the photo picture gallery room um I re remember that the Sims, I saw an organ in there, and there's actually an organ in real life, which is beautiful. The The organ is powered by um, people who push down wind in the, in the basement, actually right off the boiler room. So I thought that was pretty cool when I discovered that. So now we're working on the second floor. <gasps> oh my god, I forget to breathe sometimes. Breathe deeply. <clears throat> oh. Also something else. The Curse Forge. Curse Forge um, modification for this game. Oh my god. It is so good. It is so good. I love it so much. I was just like browsing. I, in my spare time, I just browsed through uh, custom content on the Curse Forge thing, and it just goes right into the game, and it is super easy, super easy. It makes everything so much better. I can just like tap out of the game and get something that I need. Also, I think this is Ruth's room that we were just working on. That was a pain. Her bathroom was just not cooperating. And the staircase, I had to move lead right up into the bathroom. <laughs> so I would just have to, I had to move that a little bit. Imagine going from the first floor to the second floor and appear in a bathroom. I think that would be quite funny. So when I was building it, I was thinking, oh, hey, this house is getting pretty big at the moment. It, it, it just keeps getting bigger. And to build one section of the house, you have to go down and build another. So I had to build this roof, but in order to build the roof, I had to build the terrace underneath. In real life, I think this, this house has like 26 fireplaces. It's ridiculous. They didn't use... Well, they didn't have central heating. <laughs> so, fireplaces it is. I did not place that many fireplaces. Um, maybe it's 13 fireplaces. That makes a lot more sense. Where did I get 26 from? I'm not sure. But in any case, 
the fireplaces were a second thought. Because recently, the, the, the sims I've been playing... I play in the modern age. This house was built way long ago. Let's see, what... What, what year... Was... Let's see, James J. Hale House... Mm, built. Let's see. Okay, so it's a 36,000 square foot house. When was it? When was it built? 1888. Yeah, it's big. Oh, but it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I've been in this house a couple times. So every time I build it, it is the house I like to build in Minecraft <laughs> on servers to impress people because it is ridiculous. It is huge. I cannot get over that main main staircase. I can't. It's so nice. Oh. So we're working out now on the, the bedrooms, James J. Hill's bedroom and his wife's bedroom. Um, his bedroom was smaller. It was basically an office. He didn't spend much time in it. Understandably, just for sleeping. Ugh. So the back of the house. Sorry, <laughs> my back hurts so bad. <laughs> the back of the house has this gigantic terrace, and actually, the basement opens up to a hill behind the house. But I just couldn't do that. It's on a flat ground, so I just made the house an actual basement. In The Sims Three, I could use the constraint for elevation sheets and make the basement an actual like part of the house and that can be a walkout but i don't know how to do that in this game the sims 3 i was such a master at it that was my game this game i just you know i built to my heart's content i i don't know all the tricks like the people's the people's creations in the galley are absolutely insane i i can't handle it and Honestly, you know, I might just furnish this house by going through the gallery and looking for rooms that kind of resemble the actual, the actual, uh, rooms in real life. My mouth went really dry for a second. Um, the amount of times I had to put floors down manually is redonkulous. I didn't like it. Once the building kept getting higher and higher, more things kept going wrong. Like, I discovered we just didn't have a ceiling. And I was like, that isn't right. So, things kept getting deleted and brought back. And, oh my god, the second floor view of this staircase. <laughs> I can't get over it. Uh, I don't like using money cheats in the game, but honestly, I might cheat a family into this because, holy moly... I'm excited to play on it. It's it's huge, it's stately. Oh, the storylines that could be drawn from it. It's just amazing. So the window pack that I used has all these different shapes and sizes, which is absolutely perfect. Because there's a whole bunch of specific situations where I need to use like tiny windows in this house. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> I realized that the front of the house was uncentered. <laughs> it wasn't even. <laughs> so I would would have had I tried to fix it, but I would have had to move the whole staircase over, and I was not about to do that. So instead of three spires in the front of the house, we just had two. And rebuilding the main section of the house, or just having one less spire, I it it was an easy decision. So, <clears throat> the the top of the house. Sorry, I'm just adjusting oh, my neck. Let's see if we can hear this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh gosh. The top. The <laughs> the top floor of the house. That's where the servants' quarters is on the right side. And let me tell you, building this this house, the 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 roof and attic section was my least favorite. It was so difficult. I was looking at floor plans and I was just so confused because everything I was building was either changing 
because things are being deleted or <laughs> or just random things. So I was following the floor plan, and so that's why those dormers look absolutely ridiculous. And another problem, I couldn't figure out why the ceiling wasn't buggy, and so I had to put in the ceiling manually. Oh, and doing it here, oh, what a pain. I realized later that it was this section right here that I'm going over now, but I didn't know about that. So, what a pain. I end up just destroying it and redoing some sections because it was driving me insane. Yeah, so this, there's, there's a staircase that leads from the balcony to the attic. And I am thinking, oh, maybe this is the third floor. I think there's an attic above it. Maybe. Or not. I don't know. Um, but there's a staircase that it looked like it leads to the attic, and I don't think that's there. But I'm going to have to check. And there's no doors out to that balcony, so I also may have to check that. I also must have read that wrong. But what, what a time. It, it, it was... It was it was a fun it was a fun build. I didn't realize it was gonna take two and a half hours though. I still have to pack, you know. It's eleven thirty. Check in is at four. Takes two and a half hours. I have like two ish hours. Um, I have to get coffee. Have to clean my car. And I have to pack. It's not gonna be that bad. Main thing, coffee. I'm so tired. <laughs> I should have gotten coffee before I recorded this. I would have been a lot more lively. But, you know, who cares? Who cares? So, that section of the roof, easy peasy. Like, oh, makes complete sense. But then, once we turn around to the back, it is just, just terrible. I also like that you can copy roofs. Oh, that makes life kind of easy. And once I realized we got here, I'm like, oh god, this is gonna be complicated. Look at this, look at the dormers I made. It's ridiculous. Like, why did I make such a complicated <laughs> dormer time? So I'm like, okay, so how am I gonna do this? I was looking at it and I was like, hmm, let's do something easy first. Let's do that. <laughs> so now we're gonna make it a little bit even and we're gonna center it and we're gonna try something else. We're gonna try putting roofs individually around it but that won't work because they're not the same so what do we do next oh yeah <laughs> i decided to get rid of it completely and then try pushing and pulling and deleting look how messy it looks now oh my god i can't so once we get a blank slate and everything is fine put back the roof i'm gonna put that here and then we're going to draw in the dormers after. And I think that worked a lot better. Everything looks nice and even like it does in the pictures. And yeah, it just worked out so much better. I wish I'd have done that beforehand. And bam. See, looks so much better. Looks like how it was in real life. Like it looks exactly like the real life pictures. It's kind of crazy. I love when things work out like that. Same issue over here. Delete, delete, delete. After realizing that doing the roofs first and then the dormers, it makes life a lot easier. But we had to do some more pushing and pulling. Which is totally fine. Oh my god! Yeah! Oh my, excuse me, here we go. <laughs> uh, am I going to leave that in? Yeah, probably. <laughs> when I started my YouTube channel, I was like, oh my god, everything has to be perfect. I can't do anything wrong. And then I realized, hey, this is just for me to remember things. I use it specifically for the purpose of looking back and seeing beautiful builds like this. Look at the exterior of this house. Did you just see that? Ugh. It 
it's coming to an end next year to this house, but oh my god, it, it's just so pretty. Oh my god, did it break again? Oh, I just built this and I just totally forgot everything because I just blocked out that terrible memory. Roofs in any game suck. It always has. Please tell me I fixed that that wall right there I just saw. I must have. Oh, we reached the height limit. But half walls you can still place. Ha ha ha. I decided to put different heights to make the chimneys different. Just to give some variation. And I think it turned out lovely. Oh my god, it looks so good. It is it is like actually ridiculous. Like that is a huge house. Oh good, I fixed it. Oh it's so nice. It's so nice. Okay, driveway. I always hate doing driveways because it could either be so ridiculous or like fine. Turned out fine. Um once you add landscaping and everything, it makes the house look a lot better. So we're gonna add a ridiculous amount of landscaping, some trees. And it just makes everything good. Also, I scaled up some cars. I actually want to go through the interwebs and find some toy cars or something to scale up to get some more vehicle options because that is something I need. I miss cars so much for The Sims 3. Like, Sims 5, let me tell you, they better have create a sim, or, well, create a style um, because that was my my favorite thing. I use it for everything. Um, they better have open world and they better have cars. So this is about it for the this video. So just finishing it up, making it look pretty, doing some cars, and I don't know what I'm gonna do the NTR, but I'll do it eventually. So like, comment, subscribe, you know. You know how things go. Have a nice day. Bye!